guys, welcome, welcome back. back. It's, it's your Venus. So today we're doing a Q&A. We're answering some questions that I had other YouTube creators ask us. Um, I'll put their links to their, to their channels on the description below or I might put them on the video. I don't know yet. More than likely on the description below. And I also have friends and family asking some questions. Uh, there's a lot of fun questions and funny ones and uh, let's have a good time. All right. So Sal Jimenez wants to ask who gets mad faster? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty patient. I, I'm pretty chill. I mean, unless I haven't slept. If I've only slept like two, three hours, so, yeah, because I, I work a lot. If I've only slept three hours, I'm a huge grouch. Other than that, I don't really get mad. <laughs> Tara Ramsey is asking, how did we meet? At work. You remember? Yeah. What were you doing? If I remember correctly, you were saying that I was picking up a trash can. We were dishwashers at the time, and we both we both worked for the same company. And um, I saw her. Well, I was leaving, and she was already had, had clocked in, and she was putting a trash bag inside a big industrial trash can because we were dishwashers, so we had to take out the trash at the end of every night. So when she was putting in the trash can, I remember her, her getting up, turning around, and smiling. And uh, I smiled back at her, and I'm like, damn, she has a beautiful smile. I like her. And honestly, it was love at first sight. And that happened 2013, seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so here's Joe Wright. Joe Wright's actually one of my favorite YouTubers right now. I'll leave her link on the channel. I want to make sure you check her out. And she's always been a huge help, so she asked us a few questions. She said, who said I love you first? Was that me? I think that was me. Pretty sure that was me. She was making herself hard to get, so I, you know, I had to make yeah. her, let her know that I had kind of feelings for her. Yeah, but you gotta work for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a question here from Lynn. Lynn Gan. She's asking, who spends more money and on what? <laughs> I think I spend the most money here. Um, as you guys probably know, on Lego, and probably toys, and probably action figures, and food, and Lego again. <laughs> yeah, so probably me. Um, <laughs> Rafael Trujillo is asking, when did each of you first break wind in front of each other? So when when did we part <laughs> in front of each other? Do you remember? I don't. I, don't. I, I remember. Who was it, me or you? You. We were in what my car. Doing? We were in my car. We used to have these uh, 2 a.m. sessions where we'd be in, in the car talking in front of her house and just talking, talking, and talking. Yeah, because I used to get out late. If I wasn't out at uh, midnight, I was up at 1.30. 1.30 in the morning. morning. Yeah. yeah. So then I'd go to her house. I would lack sleep because I would work in the morning, but just because I wanted to talk to her. You wanted I was, to hang out. I was outside her house. and um, yeah. One time I, she farted on accident. And she looked. <laughs> got so red. She looked so shocked, and I'm all like, I told her it's okay. Wait, wait till I deliver mine. Wait till I answer back. I was so embarrassed. You know, as a man, you gotta take it in. Like, oh, okay, she's comfortable to fart around me. That's that's when you know you're in there. It was an accident, though. <laughs> I was literally trying to hold it. I can't remember why, but I was so gassy that day. I, was like, I just didn't want to go hang out with you either. <laughs> Alright, uh, Joe is asking, what was Crystal wearing on the first day that we met? I actually do not remember. Again, the first day we met was at work. So, we were working work uniforms, which was black pants, a white button shirt. Crystal was wearing yeah. this little black head. All the little caps. Like a little black, yeah, like, you know the ones you see in and out guys wear? But it's all black, so your hair doesn't fall. And they were, um... The, the fabric, what was it? Cotton? Because oh. they're, they're not, the ones that we wore not paper. Oh yeah, they weren't paper, they were fabric. Uh, they were cotton. Yeah, something She like was wearing two aprons. She was wearing a cloth apron and a plastic apron on top of it. The plastic apron so she obviously doesn't get wet. And she was wearing black shoes. I believe that's as much as I can remember right now. 
But that doesn't count because we were at work. Well, yeah, that's why I didn't say that. <laughs> the first time I met her outside of work, she was wearing a white... No, what's it? No, a, I'm pretty sure it was a black tank top. Black tank top? Not tank top. Shirt? Was that a black regular t-shirt? It was. I think it was a regular t-shirt. The one that I remember you telling me about was the white. But I don't know. Sorry, I'm getting it mixed up with two different occasions because I used to sneak around a lot to get her attention. But um, <laughs> she was wearing, yeah, it was a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and she was wearing some pink Converse, right? Was it pink Converse or just Converse? No, 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 Timberlands. Why am I saying Converse? Timberlands, right? Yeah, Timberlands. Some Timberlands. You still have those Timberlands, huh? No. No? Which was how much I know about her closet. <laughs> we live together. Uh, Joe Wright's asking, who named the kids? Um, we both did. We both did. Um, the, the name originally comes from one of my favorite soccer players, but I had kind of told Crystal the idea before we even decided to have kids. So, it was kind of like a mu She liked the name. It was different. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, because we didn't want, you know, we wanted to be different for one. And then two, um... <clears throat> I don't know, I just thought it would be different if we, we would just name them something different, you something, know? Something, yeah, something I mean, uncommon. <laughs> both of their middle names actually have um, a meaning to it. Um, for people who don't know, my husband's middle name is... Angel? Well, actually, you have it on your face, but you should, yeah, yours... Angel, make an Yeah, angel. well, his middle name is Angel, but at the time... Um, uh, my grandma passed away two weeks before uh, Donovan was born, so um, we had got my grandma's blessing before, and you know, yeah, at least to me, I always felt like my grandma was, um, from my mom's side, was a uh, is one of my angels. So um, yeah, that's where uh, Donovan's um, middle name comes middle from. name also yeah. And and it's sad because I, I believe she passed away what two weeks before. Two weeks before. Uh, Donnie Donovan, was born. yeah, Donnie was born, and she really wanted to meet Donnie, and so. she did, but she she gave us the blessing. So we all felt it. So we kind of felt like, besides Angel being my middle name, we felt like it was like paying respect towards towards Grandma. Yeah. Uh, let's see another one. Again, another one from Joe. What's each other's most annoying habit? <laughs> so there's this thing I do with my nose because I don't he like. Does this one thing with his nose? <laughs> I don't like digging so in my nose. Like if my nose. <laughs> I I think if I dig in my nose, it's gross. So I don't like digging in there. So I go like this, and I make that popping noise with my nose. Cause I don't want to be in there scratching, looking for gold. But she hates it when I do this noise. I don't know. He could do so many other things, but he does that. <laughs> I'm really annoying in person. I don't know how she keeps up with me so much. Yeah. Uh, who chased who at the beginning of the relationship? <laughs> I chased her. I chased her for about nine months straight. She wouldn't give in. Oh, no. Maybe a little longer, no? It was nine months. It was from October to April. No hand holding. No kissing. No hugging. No physical contact for nine months straight at all. And like if, if we went out, if we were to the movies to get yogurt, this was probably the closest we ever got. If I went like this, whoop, she'll push my arm away. If I try going for her hand, whoop, she'll pull away. I got rejected so many times from her. And I was like, man, this this girl, oh, she's gonna. He tried to steal a kiss from me. <laughs> he almost got his teeth knocked in. Like I almost got my teeth rearranged. <laughs> she's asking again, are, are we having more kids? <laughs> we would like to try for the girl, but at least not now not anytime soon. yeah it might be maybe another year or two at least a year minimum but we'll see i mean we do want three kids but we want a girl but we have a feeling it might be a boy honestly if we i don't know for some reason we happen to get a lot better in financial state like i would probably say let's go for four five maybe six but I'm out here working two jobs, almost three. I, that's why I said. She wants six kids. 
I mean, we could practice, but no, I don't know about getting you pregnant six times. <laughs> All right. I said it. We get better in life. I'm, not, I'm okay with just one more. Anyways, <laughs> would either of you trust one another to cut each other's hair? Krista cuts my hair all the time. I have several times, but... If you see me looking like a pine cone, Crystal probably <laughs> <laughs> But besides me and RJ, shout out to RJ. Our um, barber RJ, he's uh, <laughs> taking care of us. Yes, but besides uh, me and RJ, I don't think any, anyone else has cut your hair. Well, you have had... Uh, In the last five, six years, no one else. No, no one else, oh yeah. Yeah, so I only go to RJ, my barber. If you guys are curious and want to know, I'll leave a link or I'll, I'll tell him to, to I'll hit you guys up. But I've been going to him for six years now. He knows he's cut all the boys' hair. He's pretty. Yeah, he's he, family. He, At this point, he's family. Yep. Any tattoos or piercings? Um, I've had my nose pierced. Um, I have the top of um, my ears pierced. I have one, obviously, on each lobe. And that's it, no? That's about it, yeah. I don't I have do any want a tattoo. I don't have any piercings or tattoos yet. Yet. But mom, dad, if you're watching this, I'm letting you know. I'm probably gonna get my arms tatted, sleeves. I'm sorry. And I'm gonna prepare for the whooping. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I am gonna get tatted. Okay. We are. We are. What pranks have you pulled on each other? There's a lot. I can't really think of one right now, but we've, we've done a few. Like the time I, I told her to kiss me on the cheek, and she wanted to kiss me on the cheek, and I turned around and she kissed me in the mouth. That that was a good prank. Probably my favorite one. I almost got my teeth rearranged, but look at us now. That was the first prank you ever played on me. That was the fir first and best prank I ever played. That almost played. cost you our relationship. <laughs> that almost cost me my life. <laughs> Your teeth. She's asking, would you eat a live cockroach for $200? Oh, hell no. I'll eat it for free. Give me the biggest, crunchiest, hissiest cockroach you could find. He just said that. And we're gonna get that on video. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> yeah, we are. No, we're not. That's I'm gross. gonna find one of the no. flying ones. The ones that fly, you know, the big ones? Yeah, I'm gonna bring you one of those. But I'm gonna need those $200. <laughs> and the number one rule between us both. What's the number one rule between us both? So, the number one rule. I think there's like two of them, honestly. Yeah. Um, one thing we really do is we consult with each other before we do um anything, we do anything communication whether, it's just communication more than anything um you see this a lot whether it's like your your boyfriend or girlfriend or uh whoever it is you say oh well why do you need to ask for permission or you know like i've i've seen that several times or i've heard that several times from people or even just in general in others and i think at least to me, you're, I, I feel like it makes your relationship better, easier, you know, communication, um, consult. It's very important. Yeah, honestly, um, <laughs> before I make an expensive toy purchase, uh, hey babe, I'm about to drop $300 on Lego. Uh, all bills are paid off, right? I'm just kidding. I, I just do it and then ask for, I ask for apologies later. No, I don't. <laughs> the number one rule between us two, Oh yeah, that's the same one we just answered. Oh, but the other one is respect. Uh, we have the same amount of respect for each other. We try not to uh, disrespect each other, I guess, even when we're angry. Like we have to take, you know, we we'll take our minutes to what was the question? to not be around. It's the same one. Number one rule between us both. Oh yeah. Yeah, but um, I think respect plays a huge role in why we've been uh, together for we, so long. Yeah, we don't curse at each other. We don't curse at each other. I mean, at least when we're not mad, and that's one thing we don't like. If we're playing around, there's just certain things that we... <laughs> when we're playing around, sometimes we make some, some jokes on each other, but... It's never out of anger. We, we never disrespect like, each other. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, Chang Wei Kung is asking, what words, phrases have helped you the most in your marriage? What do you know that you wish you knew earlier in your marriage? What do you know now that you wish you knew earlier in your marriage? Those are two good questions. Words or phrases that helped us the most in our marriage would be "I'm sorry," um, understanding what you what you did wrong and fixing it. Yes. And honestly, I love you. This it sounds cheesy, but you have to remind your partner how much you love them. Mm -hmm. What do you know now that you wish you knew early in your marriage? Hmm. For me. 
I wish I knew earlier in my marriage to be more um, level-headed, not so stubborn, because I'm very stubborn. So I wish back then I would have. I wish a younger Miguel would have been more understanding of everything Crystal's doing throughout the day, if that makes sense. You know, like a, a younger Miguel wanted things done his way, wanted things done the way he wanted them, not the way that would probably work better for both of us for Crystal. That's the best way I could put it. Um, honestly, that I, that I can say about the moment, I can't really think of. You kind of took the words out of my mouth for the first. First one? Okay. Yeah. Why did you start YouTube? Because it's fun. And um, Donovan, our, our oldest son, he's been asking us for a while if we, if we could do YouTube. He really enjoys it. Yep. And uh, it's a good way to keep memories, you know, like look back on these and um, see their, how the kids are growing. I regret not having enough videos of Donovan growing up. I have a lot of pictures, but not videos. I have videos. So hopefully, you know, we could go back on this years from now and just laugh at ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, what's our, your favorite part of the YouTube process? I think building a community. I've met some pretty interesting people um, that have helped me with my channel that are, you know, that have some different channels compared to mine. My, my, obviously, ours is a, a family channel. But I've met some people through YouTube that um, are talking about gaming, ask questions or difference, and just meeting with these different type of people, putting in their two cents, watching you and helping you grow, your channel is probably one of the best things I love about YouTube. The community feel to it. Mm -hmm. um, Joshua Stewart's asking, what's a funny story be uh, of one another? A funny story of one another? Like a funny story that you have about me and I one that I have about you. Oh god, that's a good one. What do you... A funny story about Do you want to go first? I can't think of one right now. Um, oh! This was, wasn't funny at the moment, but to me it's funny now. When Crystal and I first started, started dating, I would not let anyone, I mean anyone, not even my mom, touch my radio. <laughs> you touched that one! That's a good one! I would not let anyone touch my radio because First of all, it's my car, I'm driving, I'm listening to the music. So, <laughs> tell me why <laughs> it's like maybe <laughs> our third or fourth date, and I'm over here jamming out. Like, Actually, it wasn't even like our fourth date, it was like our third or second date. No? I was it third or fourth. Okay. It was one of our earlier dates. Yeah, we weren't even <laughs> together yet. <laughs> this woman has the audacity to go and change my music because she doesn't like what I'm listening to. I'm like, you got anything else on here? And I... <laughs> no, not even. Not even. You put a radio station that was all static -y and I looked at you like... I'm over here because I was trying to find... I didn't know how to work your car. I was just trying to find the button. Okay, so Raul, Alejandro, Moctezuma, Jeronimo. Yes, that's his name. He's one of my closest friends. He asked, who would win in a fight between Mr. X and Wolverine? Wolverine for the simple fact that he's my favorite character. I would, I would actually go say the same thing. <laughs> Edith Ochoa is asking, why did the chicken cross the road? I would like to say because it was going to get eaten. So I have a theory that the chicken crossed the road because someone told them that the grass is greener on the other side. However, I would like to tell that chicken that the grass is greener on where you stand. Knowledge. <laughs> Saul is asking, mission report December 16, 1991. Unfortunately, my uh, winter soldier memory is not as good as it wants to be, so I can't give you the mission report. It would have to be in person. I will have to get back to that. Um, <laughs> are we doing a part two on this one? Yeah, maybe we'll do a part two. It depends how... If you guys enjoy it, if you guys are having fun with this, maybe we'll do a part two. Angel Sanchez is asking, What cheesy, slick, love line did you use on your lady to win her heart? Damn. I used a lot of love lines and none of them work. He did use a lot of them. I chased after her so hard. It was ridiculous. And I couldn't give up. And honestly, I think the thing that finally did it was for Valentine's Day, I had to get my sister's help. And we made, we made a basket. It was a beautiful basket. It had flowers. It had little pink decorations all over it. And it was all handcrafted. On the inside, I put a bunch of little things that I think she would like. And things that I like so she got to know me a little better. Yeah. And then I wrapped it around in a big plastic thing. 
And I told my sister, I remember telling, oh, and I wrote her a love letter. And I think in a poem as well. I wrote her a poem as well. And I remember I told my sister, if this doesn't work, nothing's gonna work. Because this is gonna be probably the best thing I could probably pull off. <laughs> and it worked. Kind of. Because I say kind of because that's when we officially started dating. So we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend yet. When that when I gave her that gift, that's when she took me serious. Like, okay, maybe this man does like me type of thing. I wasn't really convinced, but then I'm like, I should probably give it a chance. Because if you remember correctly, even when I gave you your Valentine's Day card, you kind of felt... Yeah, you you said yeah you were rejecting on your Valentine's Day card. I don't remember. <laughs> and I tried to. <laughs> she was trying to friends on me during Valentine's Day. I remember now. Wow. But I kind of thought about it. I'm like, man, like this guy's really trying. I should actually give him a chance. <laughs> <laughs> not look at a and seven years. Thing. Honestly, I'm not even saying this like in in any uh, way, but um, from many guys that I've dated in the past or anybody who's dated in the past he actually tried I really did he did um, when I finally asked her to become my girlfriend I got some of my closest friends who did like a whole dance routine for her yeah it was beautiful um, I, it was really nice I had to blindfold her yeah I had to take her to an abandoned parking lot yep remember I had the car parked this way my high beams this way my friends had their car this way with their high beams and I told her when you hear the music playing you could take off your blindfold. So I took her out of the car. She was standing in one specific area. I caught the homies out. They were all standing behind me. And uh, we started playing music and we did a whole dance routine. And boom, that sealed the deal right there. I asked her, would you be my girlfriend? Now look at us, seven years. And she's miserable. I mean, happy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. And um, yeah, that's, that's all. That's all it is. Yeah, that's how it was. Well, it looks like that's the last question, guys. I want to thank everybody who uh, participated. Oh, all wait. the YouTube creators that were part of this. Um, I'm going to leave your links on the, on the description so people who are watching it, you guys could check them out. There's a lot of great, a lot of great YouTube creators that uh, helped ask these questions and made this video possible. Yes, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Maybe we'll do another uh, Q&A. I'm thinking about doing one with Donovan, and you guys could ask Donnie things that you guys want to find out about Donnie. Speaking of which... And don't forget about my parents got married. We are married, Jimmy. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> fun fact of the day. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. Bye! And don't forget to comment, like, like subscribe, and share. Ooh, that, was, that came out perfect. <laughs> Alright guys. Bye-bye! See you guys next time! Peace, baby! <laughs>